I'm Dale Brown, founder of the Detroit Threat Management Center and DUST, our newest uh, evolution. This is Detroit Urban Survival Training. All right, so if you're like familiar with this guy at all, you all know that he is a complete bull. I'm just saying, bro has like awful methods, methods that have never worked. I've never seen anything of his on the internet that has been like, yeah, I could probably do this in a situation. I don't know, who knows what'll happen. Maybe he's got something, anything that could like make me side with him but honestly everything i've seen pure garbage what's up boys it's bumpkin and welcome back to another one of my videos so um hope everyone's having a good day mine's going pretty well so i've decided today because i don't know something just gave me the idea I'd check out this guy in Detroit. He's supposed to be like a survival training expert. And you know what I mean? I, I get my ass beat 700 times a day, at least, you know, because I go outside and, you know, I wear khakis. So everybody wants to kill me because khakis kind of suck. If you wear khakis, you should get your ass unrelated. I'm just saying I want to I want to get my training up. I want to get my self-defense right. So we're going to all learn together how this works, how we can, you know, train to be better be safer this is totally going to be like my best work so you should leave a like and subscribe because this is totally going to be my best work but um yeah wants to fight you that's all they want to do they just want to attack you they want to fight you you want to show that you don't want to fight by keeping your hands open so the witnesses will see that that'll come out later to be very important legally the cameras will see that your hands are open you also need to be backing away from the person at the same time your hands are between your mouth and that person at all times no matter what as they come forward, instead of you trying to fight them, you're going to take from them the ability to stand. By stomping through the knee, you take from the ability to stand up, and you're stomping through the knee, not to the knee. So this is how you're able to take control of your safety and keep yourself safe by taking from them the ability to stand so they can't continue to harm you. This advice was amazing until he lifted that leg up because this made no sense to that point on. That guy just kind of like flopped on the ground like a chess piece. That didn't, that didn't help anything at all. Anyone in a normal situation that actually wanted to fight would have moved their leg and punched you. And not only that, this isn't a video game. They're not NPC characters. They're gonna, they're gonna try to swing at you a lot earlier than that. At this point, at this point, you're you're on the ground. You're dead. It's right about this moment right here where you would just get swept destroy see what you got to tell me is like okay has he ever done any of these on anyone actually has he been any any he's did i say that right has he been in any sparring tournaments there you go that sounded weird on my end i want to see bro destroy an entire an entire championship like before he starts throwing tips and tricks at me you know what i mean detroit urban survival training I want to share with you what to do if you're surrounded by a group of men may attack you so if they come at you, what you don't want to do is try to stay in the middle, like in a martial arts karate movie, moving in a circle, trying to block, trying to hit, that's not gonna work. So if they try to grab and then try to attack you and you try to back up, this is what's gonna happen. As you try to back up, you're gonna get swarmed and you're still gonna be dominated and you're gonna lose. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be dominated. <clears throat> don't get dominated. What you should do is this. You know what? It's about right here where you would get swept under and slapped on your face. Dude, I'm just saying it right now. Sorry. Unless you guys are strapped up like that, unless you guys keep it tucked, you're getting your ass beat when you get jumped. It's just, it's, it's not one of those scenarios you can casually get out of unless you're like Bruce Lee or some shit. And as you can see, when you move in a circle around the crowd, you're able to attack each attacker individually. Like, dude, I really don't care how desperate you are to not die. None of this is going to help you at all. I just don't recommend any of it. If you really feel like you're in a situation where you just can't help but get kicked, it's better to just take the beating knowing that you tried to fight it rather than doing this ring around the rosy sort of movement and then getting slapped in the face. Like, it, it would, would be kind of embarrassing. Tell you what, you know what, just to like ensure what I'm saying is correct. If anyone can find anywhere footage to the point where this guy gave valid advice, you know, evidence of it working. He's like, I need somebody, I need somebody to do this live action. I need to see one by one people getting destroyed by this method right here. Because until I see that, it's useless. If the gun is to the rear of your head, pin here to the column, drive away. It'll peel out. If it's here in the window, head forward, you're offline, grab the barrel, redirect. If the weapon is more to the front, head goes forward, weapon goes up and back, and now you have the weapon. This is how the gun disarm works. Number one, move what's in front of the barrel always. So if it's more to the front, I move to the rear. 
grabbing the barrel frame up back towards the person if it's this side i move my head to the front then you would actually come under redirecting now you have the weapon this is what you would do if you decide to resist and this would increase your survivability if anything about this video was real at all it would have been about nine seconds long and on live leak and see i feel like some people just don't realize how fast a trigger can really be pulled i'm just saying like this isn't this is it, it's really about a second before you're just finished not even a second, not to mention how loud a gun is, especially if you don't know when it's going to be shot. We all know unexpected noises are just 10 times scarier than any other noises. And geez, guns, guns are really loud, so. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're going to share with you how you can use this keychain that we sell to defend your life in a very simple way. So in the event they grab you, you can take the point of it right here to the bones of the hand. Very painful. You can take the point of it and go here to the arm. Very painful. You can also use the blunt side here on the hand as well. Very painful. Show that one again. Right here. Very painful. If the person's walking in your space, you can actually take the front of it, go right here to the chest, back them off, use the point or the blunt side. Take your hand here and press it right on the nose. If they grab you, bear hug, you can actually take it. You don't have to use the point. You can actually use the side of it. Go right here to the top and it will back them off of you. If they're giving your family or friends a hard time and aggressing on them, you take your take your uh, keychain, go right here to the shoulder, pull it out. This device can help protect you and your family. You know, I'm going to keep it 100% honest. There's not even really much I wanted to say about this video. I'm sure the item might actually hurt. I don't know how much it hurts doing half of these, but I thought it was really funny how at the end he just kind of destroyed that guy and didn't even see if he was cool. Just walked forward and was like, this is an insane item. Did you see how bro was reacting to all of it, though? It looked like he was going through it, to be honest. That was the most genuine one we've seen so far. Imagine having to go through a bunch of very painful uh, exercises for a uh, self self-awareness, self-awareness, self-defense video. As this guy's exclaiming that they're all very painful, I don't know how I missed all those shots, that's unrelated. You've just got the camera girl telling him to do it again, you know, just cause. Not to mention many, many comments mentioning seeing these inside of their uh, mom's bedroom, other places other than, you know, scenarios for self-defense. Let's just all be real. It looks like it belongs up someone's ass. But you know, this item, of course, it's awesome. It's great. If we're on like melee only or some shit, I don't know. You know, to quote someone in the comments, if someone has a gun against your head, try blocking up the gun barrel with the keychain very painful you know they may have taken away likes but i don't care comment sections will always be way better than likes anyway there's just way too much opportunity in the comment section to make a joke the biomechanics of taking the weapon from the knife the knife from the hand is very basic all we do is pray, uh, take pressure put it on the side of the blade it comes out of the hand again because there's no muscle groups here it comes right out of the hand Pressing the thumb inward causes the blade to come out of the hand. Pulling the wrist and pushing the hand causes the blade to come right out of the hand. And again, just because he has the weapon and maybe stabbed someone, he might have stabbed you. The only thing worse is getting stabbed, you can stab again. Hurry up and get the knife. Hurry up and take that knife from that person. It doesn't matter how strong they are. You can take the blade. I'm not entirely sure why, as the videos got newer, they got lower quality. Like, this is one of their newer videos, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. All I know is that if you try this, you're gonna get stabbed. Sorry, I, I'm just being 100% honest with you. You try to grab the fucking blade, they're gonna cut your hand off. This isn't this isn't the Matrix, all right? You're not in Mortal Kombat. You're not grabbing the blade and not getting sliced up. I hope your adrenaline is high enough for you to ignore the slices that are gonna be on all your fingers. Look, I mean, you guys want some pretty solid advice. I'll give you some of the best advice I can. Whatever you can carry on you that's dangerous, carry it. Just make sure it's legal. Jesus, make sure it's legal. I should also add that in. Don't don't walk out with a with a fucking Panzerfaust. Like you're, you're no, I don't want to see any rocket launchers out in the streets. People carry tasers all the time. Them hoes do damage. People that can open carry open carry. <laughs> and you know, them hoes do damage. You ever seen different like martial arts moves, karate, MMA? taekwondo like them hoes do damn like there's so many different things you can do to defend yourself these youtube videos are not it but listen i won't keep you guys uh i won't keep you guys too long mostly because i can't keep you guys too long if you enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like and subscribe 
Also, be sure to comment down below so I can go hard it. While you're at it, go follow my Instagram and my Twitter. And you guys have a wonderful day. Peace, peace. Thank you.